Hello, this is Sweet Jesus. I um, have a lot to share with you and a really awesome dream. I know it's a few days later. I just um, am getting the chance, though. I am still trying to recover from COVID, and it's been, um, you know, craziness. But, um, God, I love you so much. You... Um, are just the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end. Um, I praise your holy name, the great I am, and um, just continue to protect your people. Glory, hallelujah, praise the Lord. All right, I want to start with um, March 2nd. Okay, so the morning of March 2nd, <clears throat> I had been actually ha um, in prayer with the Lord on March 1st about the April um, when I was shown April on a plaque um, by the Lord and so I was asking you know is there anything with that Lord um, in April and what he said to me in the morning the early morning hours he said, he gave me the word Elijah. And on March 2nd, in the early morning hours, he also gave me the word tsunami. And so I wrote those down. And I um, was getting, um, you know, ready in the morning. And I looked at my phone and I had a message. That was the first thing I saw. I had a message. And it was from someone replying to the April video that I did and I think Bertrand I'm so sorry I'm um, probably butchering this name but that's who said it and he he wrote April 2021 will be the coming of Elijah and it will start a wide uh, worldwide spiritual revival before the rapture of the church on Passover so he wrote that was the first thing I saw um, that morning after getting up um, in my email right after I got Elijah early in the morning said to me and that had to do with April um, and also I had the word tsunami and then lo and behold there was some kind of big earthquake and eight point something and they had tsunami warnings everywhere um, so that was on March 2nd then um, March 3rd, in the early morning hours, I got dark days and bubonic plague. I've been getting a lot of, not just March 3rd, and I actually got it this morning as well. Um, so about four times now, bubonic plague. And um, then... Okay, so I had did a, I did another video that I had Punxsutawney feel like with a Groundhog's Day, and then I was for some reason I've gotten it again, and I don't know why. And I know like if we had six more weeks of winter, and that would be March sixteenth, and then the Groundhog's Day, um, and then March sixteenth. I don't know. Um, that's a question mark. Um, the only thing I got when I'm like you know is this of God, um, and asking I got just the words timing of events said to me and that was it. if I get more I will post it um, okay so then I had two dreams back to back um, that the Lord gave me early morning of March 5th and I um, March 5th Fourth, I have been I'd, just having a rough time with um, the sickness and I was feeling depressed and I had you know just feeling I was remorseful I was because of the state I was in I was just not in a happy state and I was just like a negative state and so I was repenting for some of the things I was doing and just like I feel horrible I'm you know I'm even sick, I'm not doing enough for you, Lord. So I was very much feeling down and repenting on March 4th. And, um, you know, every day I'm just like, I'm just so ready to be out of here. 
Um, but with my family, I don't want to leave my boys. But anyway, okay. So this is what I got. And oh my gosh, just amazing. Okay. So I walked in to, it was like this giant place. I mean, I'm just going to say it was kind of like the inside of a mall. Okay. And this woman came up to me and I swear her name was Kelly. Kelly has been in a lot of my dreams, just the Kelly. Like it, it doesn't even matter who the person is. It's just the name Kelly. And I know when I, every time I look it up, it's war battle warrior and um the meaning so um and i just had a knowing like her name was kelly and i walked over to her and this was totally a god thing and it was like she was kind of like come to me and i just wrapped my arms around her and i just started crying out loud and i called out jesus's name very powerful and i was just crying in to what and see I didn't and you know in your dreams you don't realize exactly kind of what's going on then when you wake up you're like oh my gosh this is what you know the Lord was telling me so in the dream I was so confused because when I was hugging her and I'm five six so I'm not you know I'm average but um I or I when my the top of my head was like hitting her belly button and I'm like wrapped around and I'm like crying and I'm like oh this is kind of weird like I'm hugging her belly button I'm crying into her belly <laughs> um I I didn't you know because in the dream I didn't make the connection so okay so then that it went straight from there me crying out to Jesus and it was like a comfort thing and she was like it's it, you know um just cry cry it out and then I walked straight into what was a huge movie theater. And there were just, it was packed, right? And the first person I saw, and this was a person laying on the floor. It was almost like there were a, a blanket down. But she was lying on the floor at the bottom of the theater. And then there were like, you know, steps to go all the way up to the top. And um, I wanted to lay next to her. And, but as I got closer and see, and in, in, in the dream, she was really big, like really long and tall. And I got closer to her and I saw this other girl was already laying beside her, which was my size, but it looked like to me like a child because it was so much smaller than her. And, um, so then I walk up the stairs. I was like, oh, I can't, I can't lay next to her. And um, just really long, really a tall person. I go all the way up to the top, go to the last row, and um, I see God uses the one angel that I knew in when I was a child, beautiful, like bright blue eyes, long blonde hair, um, put her back, the back uh, angel at the back row, and um, she was with like another girl I knew and there was no space for me to sit. So I was, so was kind of sad. So I went to the other side of the back row and there were two seats available. And um, I sat in the one that would have the best view between all the heads looking down below to watch this huge screen to watch this movie. And um, so I sat down and at some point I heard the girl tell Angel to come over and sit next to me. It was kind of like this knowing or I could hear her whisper on the way on the other side. And she did come over and sit next to me. And that was just another confirmation that I believe this was like, you know, angels, I, from what I've heard, are, are big, are big, tall, um, angelic beings. And that's why God had me. It was so powerful, like when I was crying into her belly like how little I was compared to her and then when she's laying stretched out right after that on the floor and how small I was compared to her and then angel that I know was in the back came over again to be with me to comfort me during some of my trials um, so angel sitting next to me and the movie starts all right so the movie this is how I'm taking it we, the people who are watching it, are like the church. And I just got confirmation right there when I just said that. Major confirmation. Um, 
So we are the church, and the movie started, and we're watching what's happening on earth. And so what it started with, um, it was like this glass, this big glass um, building. And I took it kind of as like a nightclub, and there was a big deck that wrapped around it and um, a giant pool below it. And it was like, it was daytime, and everybody was partying. And I kind of had this thing of like young adults, you know, maybe like in their 20s, just party, you know, just all kinds of stuff, you know, drinking, whatever. And then I heard the voice say, and, and, and it could have said it in the movie. Um, it said, hold on, let me, um, okay, here we go. I'm looking at my notes. Um, it was telling like the audience, like what was about to happen. And it was like this big event. And all of a sudden, all the, the water in the pool, it came up and it was like this big, like tsunami, this big, like wave. And it just came up and it started washing people away. And it was chaos, pure chaos. And so a lot of people, I just had a knowing a lot of people died, but there were some that were left. And so we were watching this whole event, and um, and then God zoomed in on this woman, and she had beautiful, thick, brown hair, but she was um, she was sad, and she was holding, wrapped in pure white, um, like swaddled in white cloth, a little baby, and she was upset because she was like, I think my baby has died. And I looked at the baby, because this is what, like, everything zoomed in on the baby, okay? I looked at the baby, and I agreed, like, I don't think the baby made it. But then there was a voice again that came out that said, put the baby underwater. So she put the baby underwater, and all of a sudden, we were seeing underwater where the baby was underwater. And then she lifted the baby back up. And um, the baby was fine. Like, the baby was, you know, she was like, oh, my gosh, it's breathing. It's alive, you know. And she was so happy. And the water was crystal clear. And um, the baby opened his eyes and, and smiled. And um, I, and that was it. Um, so the baby to me was like, oh, oh, and I asked God. I said, because I woke up after this first dream, and I asked God, I said, well, what, you know, can you tell me more about the baby? Because I keep on getting the baby, and and um, I had the baby with, I have Christian friends that we call him Joseph, and his wife looks like, like Mary Wood, like when they show pictures, just beautiful, dark, um, thick, dark brown hair, and, and he has them with little baby but the back of the baby's head looks Jewish um, like that hair the complexion and everything and um, so that another one of those dreams happened recently and when I asked about the baby because um, I woke up right after that because God wakes me up when he wants me to write this stuff down and um, he said oh gosh cro red cross um crucifixion and um that's what was said to me so it's like when it was like jesus had you know been crucified he died and then he came back again um he rose again three days later and um so that also has to do with easter um but also could it be that you know that like Jesus will come back then like the second coming um I don't know this is just this is just I'm putting out thoughts and that's what God told me you know the bloody cross the red cross and then the crucifixion okay and there was also uh, in that dream at some point there was a man's leathery face and I think it was kind of towards the end um, he, he just very leathery, wrinkled man's face. And it was kind of like he was talking to somebody, but the face just, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know who that man was, but it was bizarre. I, I don't know. It wasn't anybody I know. 
um, oh, oh, yeah, I have in my note, Red Cross Crucified and came back. That's what was said to me. I'm sorry, I just started talking but not looking exactly at my notes. So when I asked about the Jesus going under the water or the baby going under the water and coming back up and being alive, that's the words I got. Red Cross Crucified and came back. That's what I got. Okay. And, um, all right, so that was huge. And I, I do feel like it was an angel hugging me. And that's why God was focusing how big, how tall this angel was. And then putting the angel in the girl angel. And the fact that we're at the top, the top row of the theater where it was really high up and looking down below watching the movie from down below in the chaos okay so I'm gonna go into I woke up and I knew God wanted me to write this down so I got up and I wrote it all down and then I went back to sleep and I and I asked the Lord you know can your angels help me get back to sleep um, and and oh my gosh just yeah amazing things that um, happen like so yeah I went right back to sleep and I had this dream I had posted another video where um, the things that are going on right now and what God showed me when I was in prayer a lot and um, and I talked about two women what God showed me when I was asking a question and God showed me two women holding a pool stick, shooting it, and then there they changed. And um, they got, like, um, you know, their hands changed. They, they went from women to kind of looking manly, just not okay looking. And, um, and that disturbs me. Um, so God showed me this. And I wasn't asking about this. God showed me this. He took the person, the first person that I know that got the, you know, like the pool stick thing that had that done into his arm. Um, he appeared before me. He walked up to me and he looked super skinny, like dirty kind of pants, like a rope around his waist. And it, it, he did not look normal, okay? That's all I got to say. I was concerned. He looked sickly. I was concerned. And in the dream, I knew that he had had both of, you know, the things in his arm done. And then it showed him walking away from me. And when he was walking away from me, he had, it was like he, it was a dress from behind. But he was still like his tall, you know, manly size. But so it was like God was showing me again that weird man to woman, woman to man um, DNA stuff. Okay. So then when I woke up, um, God is so good. Praise Jesus. I woke up and, um, you know, I was turning on my phone and what I saw was this title, Zombie Apocalypse. And, um, and the vaccine, the, va mm, sorry. And then I, um, thought about the dream that I'd had before. And I said, God, you know, can you tell me anything else? And cause you just gave me more confirmation by, you know, this thing popping up. And he said, tell people not to take the, you know what? The word damaging, um, you know, and so I, um, I needed to share that. All right. Sorry. I'm talking a long time. Um, God bless you guys. I hope everybody's doing well and just um, continuing to pour the blood of Jesus over us, surrounding us, protecting us. We are so strong through Christ. We are Christ warriors. We are victorious through him. God bless. I love you. Bye-bye.